YouTube. How do you like that timing? Oh, it's that fucking drink, my fucking motherfucker. How you doing, YouTube? Uh, Matt Massive Reviews back with another review with Tom. 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 Tom Brooklyn Tom. Brooklyn Tom. Brooklyn Tom that sends me Brooklyn beers and oh shit, what do we have right here in front of us? A Brooklyn beer. There you go. We got a little bit of uh, Grim Lumen. Um, this dropped, I think it was last week, last, last Saturday, yeah, or last Friday. Yep. Um, I just missed it. I went up to um, work, New York. I had a couple floating around it, but I, I believe I did have it in the middle of a bottle share. I don't remember. So I'm going into it fresh. Um, I'm super excited to give it a whirl for a couple reasons. One, I like Grim stuff. I do. Uh, the Lambador was probably one of my more favorite because that's a word. Uh, IPA double IPA. That was a double IPA, double IPA, IPA. Uh, that I've ever had. Great beer. Shitty can. Shitty can. Uh, shitty in a way that they tried to make it really shitty on purpose, which is why I hated it so much. Anyway, super excited to give this a whirl. And this one has a little bit of a twist to it, almost literally. So we'll get to that in a second. Uh, it actually says on the can, it says Grim Lumen Indian Pale Ale, 6.4% alcohol by volume. Um, on the side here, it says, keep cold, drink now. And it, then it says, roll can to suspend heart particles. Okay. One, they use the word fucking particles. Like there's some kind of like time warping like fucking. Particles. Yeah, they're doing like, we're, we're at space balls. We're at fucking Schwartz speed or whatever the fuck. What was it? Ludicrous speed. speed. We're at ludicrous speed on this can right now. Um, and it's kind of like, um, there's been some breweries. Uh, I don't want to name Tired Hands. That uh, they fucking, they, like, uh, they put, like, they put, uh, like, uh, wheat flour in their beers to, like, make them more hazy and stuff like that. I don't know if that's the case with this beer. I'm just saying you're telling somebody to roll the can. It's kind of weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pour it normally. I'll probably pour about maybe three quarters of the can. And then we'll check it out. We'll smell it. And maybe give it a quick taste. And I'll take, swish around all the shit in the can and throw it back in the, in, in the, uh, in the actual glasses and see if that actually makes a fucking difference. So, um, yeah, so I already read what's on the fucking can. Let's dive into this motherfucker. Let's see what she's got. Hot particles. That's kind of particles. I feel like I'm back in my rave days when I'm talking about particles. So many particles. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's already pretty fucking hazy without mm -hmm. me doing the uh, whole... Uh, Swirl, S swirl, the counterclockwise swirl, as uh, Jerry Seinfeld and George talked about. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, as far as what's going on in there, I mean, you can see it's fucking, it's, I, I, it's not orange juice, it's not super haze, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fucking hazy. It's, it's, yeah. it looks like, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a, a honey, kind of meaty kind of color. It's just honey in a glass. He has a smaller head than me, literally and figuratively. Um, but it's because I poured it super gentle in his. But yeah, I mean, nice haze, golden color, nice creaminess to it. Let's get a nose on her. Juicy news. Mm -hmm. Juicy news. Oh, yeah. And there's that oniony dankness, too. There's like a nice kind of underlying dankness. So I'm getting like a stone freeness in your peaches and your, in your, in your uh, nectarine kind of vibe going on in there. But then I'm getting a little bit of like that pseudo, uh, not pseudo, light oniony kind of vibe going on. Nice and sweet. Yeah. It smells good. What do you it think? Smells, smells a little juicy. Yeah, I get that. Like a, like a not sweet OJ. Not sweet OJ. And not, not the one a, that not kills, a, not kills a, um, not young people. Like women, but yeah, yeah no. Yeah, like, like not a, uh, not a grapefruit. But you know what like, it smells like? like, a, like a more like a, a, a Sunny D version of yeah. OJ. Like not yeah. necessarily all the way Sunny D, somewhere between Sunny D and OJ. That's kind yeah. of the vibe I'm getting from it. So I mean, it smells yeah. pretty fucking good. Definitely. Take a taste, see what you got. Way less sweet than what I thought mm -hmm. it was gonna be. It's not. It's still. It's still sweet by most people's standards, but for me. It's less sweet than what I thought it would be. It's a bit more drying than I thought it would be. Um, and uh, the juiciness is there. The dankness is there. But it's all a little bit muted from what I got in the nose. Yeah. Definitely um, not as uh, OJ-ish. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt like it was going to be a little sweeter, a little bit more like citrusy, a little more orange flavor. Um, didn't get that. Definitely dry on the back end. Um, you know. A little, a little bit oniness. Nice mouthfeel. In there. It's almost like um, it reminds me. It, it almost reminds me of a 
lightly dank, juicy beer. So let's do yeah. this whole, like, I know oh, I'm not rolling right. a can, but we'll give it a good swirl and see if this actually changes big anything difference. in there. I don't see any much of no. a difference as far as Listen. coloration. You know what I mean? So roll that can, son. I actually get less of a nose from it, yeah. uh, like uh, vibrance-wise, maybe because I already drank it. But same things are there, just a little bit more muted. So yeah. All right, then second round. Yeah, really not much. Maybe a little bit more dry. But that's just about like it. Just a, a little, a slight little bit of hop bitterness, more so. The I first, think that's the, the dryness the, for me. Yeah, I'm the first, the first, uh, the the pre swirl, I didn't get any, any of that at all. So maybe I'm just getting just a little bit more. It might be the dryness, but it's a little more pronounced. No. Yeah. Or it might just be my imagination because uh, the label told me to. Yeah, I mean, um, the swirling around to get the hot particles that might be a. Um, I don't want to say it's a marketing thing more than it might be like, you know, like if you ever had a can of Hetty, it says drink from the can, mm. don't drink from the glass, because they think it looks like an ugly beer. It might be more of a thing where this thing has some kind of like retention issue to where they're like, okay, swirl around that way the beer looks more uniform. I don't know, but I don't really taste much as far as a flavor difference on the thing. No. But in general, let's all the pomp and circumstance aside, the rolling, the whatever, the fucking ludicrous speed, the whole nine. It's a really good fucking beer, is what it is. Um, not the most impactful grim beer I've had. Again, we're, you know, we talked about Lambo Door, but uh, that was a double and this is a single. But um, I mean, you're kind of splitting hairs because this is almost seven. The other one, I think, right. was like pushing eight. eight. Yeah. Um, but it's a really good fucking beer. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's a nice beer. Um, drink, uh, you know, three or four of these throughout a day. Hot day. Um, but, and life wouldn't suck. Life wouldn't suck. Um, yeah. No, good mouthfeel. Um, just a lip, not not super juicy enough, enough juiciness, but not not so much that you're just like drinking straight orange juice. And that's the thing. Sometimes you want super impactfulness. Sometimes you want a little bit of serenading, a little bit of more of gentleness. And and this has this. And, and probably the biggest thing for me on this beer is the dryness. It's almost like a non. I I, again, just me. I if I were to bet my left testicle, I would bet that maybe this is brewed with some kind of yeast that's more drying. I think a lot of that drying is coming from the yeast as opposed to the actual hops itself. Uh, coming from Belgian beers and a lot of wild ales and Brett and Brett Britannia Mahesis based beers, a little bit of yeasty dryness kind of turns my fucking shit on, my butthole real tight. So fucking this kind of works for me on that level. It almost tastes like a Belgian styled Americanized pale ale to me. Um, that's just me. So it, it's a really, really fun beer. Yeah. And something like we just reviewed the uh, Freeze Col um, Pilsner. I wanted to drink 30 of those. These have, This I want to drink about four to eight of these. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The ABV is not that much off, but it's just that kind of, or this would be like a, a tweener beer for me. This would be like a, something I would drink one, drink something else, drink this again, and drink something else, and drink this again, and kind of come back to, come it, back throughout, to it throughout yeah. the night. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about it. So one of the better... Pale ales I've had as of late, IPAs I've had as late. No, but it's on the outside looking at it. It gives me enough of that new new school, New England style IPA that I love, but at the same time, it's stopping short of making me want to put it in that fucking King of Kings kind of territory. Yeah, but a nice beer to have. Absolutely. Especially if you can get it easily. Yes, which I can't, which you can't, so yeah. fuck him. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, value and availability, we're going to skip over that because it's grim and you're not going to be able to get it all that much, and chances are it's probably $15 a four-pack, that's my guess. Uh, I want to say this was 16 There you go. Very close. Close enough. Yeah. Horseshoes, hand grenades, and beer. Yeah. Um, and just end it on this. If you like what we like this. If you like new school IPAs, but you also like Belgian pale ales, because like I said, that dryness I'm getting is more of a yeast dryness for me. Um, and uh, if you wanted to see what those both both of those worlds would be like, if they married together. This would be your jam. What do you think? Um, everything you just said, and uh, yeah, glad that I I have some more sitting in my fridge at home. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Another review of the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun fun stuff. 
Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped for me. Massive beers and all everywhere on the internet. How about you? K e n s h i n six nine one on Instagram. There you go. He spelled it this time. Last time he spelled he, it this time. He said it and he knew no one's gonna. No one's gonna know it. Shit. So uh, go check him out. Dogs and beer. Dogs me, and beer. Dogs and beer. And um, it's all about dogs and beer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice India Pale Ale. Uh, Traveling at ludicrous speed, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.